everybody. Welcome back to Mop Pop Sports. This is Grandy. If this is your first time here, welcome. I appreciate you guys checking out the video, checking out the channel. If you guys are returning, welcome back. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend, everybody. Uh, I was just kind of busy with family stuff, golfing and everything. So uh, if you guys don't know, I've been picking up golfing once again. I think this year uh, I have some goals of mine of uh, hopefully breaking 80 this year guys i got close i got close this weekend surprisingly so i don't know if you guys are golfers or not but uh, i used to be an avid golfer and then i kind of stopped because i had four daughters and it's been kind of hectic as you guys know but i uh, finally picked up golf again so hopefully uh my goal is to 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 get back into it uh, i'm shooting back in the 80s that's awesome that's awesome but uh hopefully i can break 80 that that's kind of my goal this year so we'll see i'll let you guys know on that for for you golfers that is uh but today uh, i'm just kind of getting into the the shipping of everything of orders and everything uh last night so this is the thing too if, if you guys you know on on you know the weekends they tend to pile up on orders if because you know the uh, post office isn't open on Sunday. Some don't even open up on Saturday. So then um, you're kind of in limbo on, on in regards to your order. So you can't, you know, you, you stockpile the orders. And so last night, uh, late last night, you know, I, I was putting the kiddos to sleep and then I had a, an extra hour or so and I was actually able to get some of the shipping stuff done. So I actually cut uh, my shipping stuff this, today in half. So I don't have to do too much because I, I did a lot of my weekend order shipping last night. So uh, just kind of a tidbit for you guys. If you have some time, spare time on Sunday nights, um, I would recommend seeing if you can get your orders and shipping in. If, if, if you have a, a large orders, things like that, uh, I tend to do sometimes. So then that way kind of alleviate some of the stress on Monday's shipping stuff. So there you guys go on that. So this week, this today, uh, make sure if you have not subscribed, subscribe. I'm gonna do a video later this week because I have a show coming up at the end of this week. Uh, so I won't be able to record too much this weekend, but I wanna do, I finally reached the one year pinnacle of sports cards selling for a year full time. I wanna give you guys an update. It's gonna probably be a long video. Uh, the things I've learned, things that I want to change, things I want to improve on. Is it viable to do this for a living? Um, I'm one year into it. I, I, I want to give everybody a heads up. I've been getting a lot of people asking questions and stuff. Uh, this week's Q&A might not be happening uh, video wise. I might just put it into this video of, of the one year um, I guess anniversary of me selling sports cars for a living. So make sure you guys subscribe, check out the video. Most likely I'll try to get it done by Wednesday or Thursday this week so I can prepare for my show and everything. So make sure you guys stay tuned on that. Um, but in the meantime, let's talk about this. Uh, guys, I want you guys to be really weary of not just social media influencers, people, YouTube, all that stuff to make it seem like, why is it so easy for them to flip cards and make money? Uh, it seems like it's just an easy thing to do. Uh, however, when I do it or when you do it, it takes time and effort and, you know, unless you get lucky, it happens. So this is the thing, social media people, YouTubers, when they're flipping cards, uh, the show, the amount of profit they make. If you don't know it by now, I'm just letting you know, I'm hoping you know it by now, but they're not gonna show the stuff that number one, they lose money on, number two, that they can't move, number three, uh, that they feel, you know, they just break even on. And the reason being is because that's not entertaining content. So keep in mind, I, I, I want you guys to be really weary. So for people who are looking to get this into full-time, for people who are doing this part-time side hustle, who are watching YouTube to kind of gain inspiration, gain ideas, things like that, just be really weary and careful about your expectations. Um, and I say that because, like I just said, a lot of these influencers, they're not gonna show that stuff. They're gonna show the stuff that's entertaining. That's the the thing where they can sell a card for $10,000. They don't tell you how much they bought it for. They don't, sometimes they do tell you because it's their one win versus 10 losses. You have to keep that in mind. Keep it all in perspective, guys. Um, and I don't want people, because I've actually had people come up to me and actually kind of contact me and like, man, it seems so easy. And, you know, how can I get into it and everything? I'm just like, because and, and they, they shoot me the name of the person that they saw, whether on Instagram, whether on YouTube. Um, and I just tell them, you know, just be your expectation, tame your expectations that if you buy a sp specific player or person, Yes, it might happen where you can flip overnight and make 
you know, 50% profit or 100 or 2 exit, 3 exit. It happens. It happens all the time. You guys seen my cards where I, I buy in a lot, I grade it, and I'm able to sell it for 10x. It happens. But your expectation of that happening day in, day out, that's the biggest thing that you have to understand. It doesn't happen every day, day in, day out. Those are one-offs. And um, I, I, I want people to realize that for you to reach that pinnacle of expecting it to happen all the time, you have to have so much inventory and so much of the inventory that people want that it's able to happen day in, day out. And that's why I'm trying to get there to scale up. I'm not even there that I can sell. And I have almost 40,000 listings on my eBay store, guys. And, and I do card shows and everything. I do all this stuff. And I, my expectation is not for that to happen day in, day out. You have to understand that just because you see it happen all the time on you know social media and everything. I just want everybody tame your expectations. That's my biggest thing. That was my biggest thing, uh, advice to anybody was tame your expectations. What you see on social media, what you see on YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff, it's not a normal thing to happen every day, every card, uh, every uh, lot you purchase and all that stuff. I want you to be very weary of that because I don't want people to, to get a bad taste in their mouth if they buy a specific car and they can't move it. It's not always that easy to sell sports cars because if it was, that's the case, everybody would do it. There's a reason why people do this on the side is because your expectation is not for it to be day in, day out, every minute, every hour of the day that you're gonna be selling and flipping at all times. You're doing it at a side hustle because Every so often you might go do a show, every so often you might list it and then it sells. So it's just a side thing. So that's that. That's my biggest thing is just to, to make sure everybody tame your expectations. Um, but, I mean, you can believe whatever you see on social media and whatever you see, but like I said, take it all with a grain of salt. Um, and, I, and I came to this video because like I said, I had a person, um, a close friend, who's really, really wanting to jump into the industry, really want to do this and saying, well, this person was able to do this and look at that, man, he made hella money or she made hella money, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you have to understand a lot of these people, number one, they have a lot of followers. They built their followers. They built the people. They built through content. <laughs> they built all these people, whether they're selling on whatnot now, whether they're selling on YouTube or their their, their store that you know is online or whatever, their breaks and all that stuff, they built that following, you have to understand that, and they grind and they work their asses off. People don't realize those people are working their butts off to sell those cars, whether, like I said, to, uh, to sell their content, to sell all that stuff. They're really, really grinding and really, really working hard. Um, and you have to understand that it's not an, as easy as they make it seem. Of course they make it seem easy because that's entertaining. You wouldn't watch it if someone shows you the day in, the day out of the monotonous, of the bullshit you have to go through when you're listing cards, stuff like that. Or the people that they're, they don't show every single minute of their day of how it sucks sometimes when you lose a lot of money and you're waiting for this one card to move and it can't move this card and that shit sucks and you got to do this and you got bills coming on and these people who are idiots I call you idiots if you're buying shit off of your credit card and their interest rates going up so they're shooting themselves in the foot people don't show that type of stuff because that's not entertaining um, and that's why I, I, I was telling just be really, really careful, be really weary, um, move at a, at, at a gradual pace, grow, scale up. Um, that's what I always tell people at a normal pace, at your own pace, whatever you're willing to do time and effort wise, have the expectation of realizing what it should be and not what you want it to be. I guess that's, that's my biggest thing. So. There you guys go. Hopefully you guys gained a little bit of something. It was just kind of advice. It, it just really resonated with me because um, I just want real, you know, to be honest with people, man, it's not easy. And like I said, stay tuned, subscribe this week because I will give you guys a full, honest, honest review of selling sports cards for full time. Is it possible? What my lessons learned, all that stuff. I'm gonna do it this week because I'm finally at the one year mark and I'm gonna let you guys know um, the real truth about behind it. Numbers wise, uh, I'll try and get into it as much as I can without telling you everything, but I'm just telling you guys, I, I'll be upfront with you guys and, and what I think about it, what my thoughts are. A lot of people has been asking me, a lot of people is coming on this and, and I, I just wanna 
paint a, a picture, a, a, a real picture for everybody on that. So other than that, man, appreciate you guys. Like I said, if you haven't even subscribed, all good. I still appreciate you guys watching the video, but other than that, make sure to check out the eBay store. Link is in the description. Every little bit helps me make, make sure, put an offer in guys. I'm trying to list cards hundreds daily if I can. This week's gonna be a little difficult because I'm prepping for the show and everything, but I'm trying to list cards on a daily basis. Um, but other than that, man, I appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of the week, guys. Till next time.